there, my name is Emily Casper. I am an independent distributor for Gel Moment. Um, today I'm gonna do a, show a tutorial of how to do the diamond fade. I'm gonna be using Amalia and Lovey Dovey, and there will be a top coat of Clearly Frisky. Um, and so let's get started. I will do a buff on here to make sure that the polish sticks well. Um, bring out the nail cleanser that we can clean this off, get all the extra dirt and residue off. We'll put this to the side because we will be using it for a few other things. Um, the bottom coat of what I did for the base, I started with, um, I used Lovey Dovey, so I did two thin coats. So we'll quickly get that going so we can cure it. You don't want to do it too thick because you want to make sure that you're letting it cure all the way through. Let's close that up. Oops. <laughs> and we're using the two finger 60 second lamp. And so what I did, you can see that there are five different colors. Um, so I start with Lovey Dovey, and for this one I use Midnight Walk, but today we'll use Amalia. So I need to mix up the three middle colors. Um, and so what I do is just different amounts of each between Lovey Dovey and your main color, so in this case Amalia. Um, so to do the lightest one, we'll do the most Lovey Dovey. And then just less and less. Oops, those two might be pretty similar. Um, and so then Amalia. Let's try to get a fair bit here. Just stick it beside. You don't want to get the lovey dovey on the same brush. Um, so just kind of deposit it to the side and then you'll mix them up after. And there. You can play with them as you go too, right? We'll see which ones end up darkest and lightest. I will do a second coat of Lovey Dovey here for the base. Another easy coat. So other than using the brush for the Lovey Dovey, I use the smallest dotting tool from the Creativity Kit that you can get. And get that going. So, I will mix these up and see what we came up with and if I like the combinations. What's nice is that you can play with it enough to get exactly what you're looking for before you get started. Um, and at this point, it doesn't matter about cleaning off the tool between mixing because um, it's the same colors at this point and we're still figuring that out. And then these two. Okay, so I might try to darken one of these up because I like that middle one for my lightest one actually. And oops, that worked out well, good timing. I'll do a little bit more Amalia in this last one. Just make sure when you're mixing it up, depending on how many nails you're wanting to do, um, that you have enough of your colors to do all the nails that you're trying to cover. You don't want to try to have to mix up the same colors after and not have it match. So, okay, perfect. So I have the three different shades, which I'm liking. And so how I started it, I would take the lightest one, I started on the bottom, and do a little 
zigzag. And because I did five colors um, on mine, I didn't leave a ton on the bottom. So again, with this one, leave a good amount of the, of the lovey-dovey, but you wanna make sure that you have enough space to do your five colors or however many you decide to do. Um, and then from there, I did the, went up and did a diamond. Kind of use the tool to make sure that I'm happy with the shapes and if you're not liking what you're seeing um, you can easily just wipe it off because until it's cured it's easy peasy to work with and I again just filled in with the dotting tool as well So it's fun to kind of, with things like this, you can think of a lot of different combinations of colors you could do. It would be really nice with like a pink or a red. Um, yeah, it was fun. I did the blue, but now I'm like, this is a bit of a lighter, more fun springy color. And so Amalia is a good one. Um, yeah, it's pretty easy. I think you just keep using this tool and we will see as we go. And again, you're always making sure that when you're curing, you have your bottles closed because you don't want to, you don't want it to harden in there. Okay, so that was the first color. And so then I just got started on the second color. And so what I did with this, um, you can see how it's quite large, the space between the diamonds. So with the second color, when I started, I would always kind of cover it, the top part of it up a bit. And that's how I started um, doing that color. And you don't want to do it too thick on there because you do want to make sure that it's curing. Um, but you can kind of spread it as you go. So follow the lines of what you've already done. And as the nail potentially gets bigger depending on the shape of your nails. Um, you add that extra little line or make sure that it fits well. So complete a half diamond on this side. Try to bring the line going, following the lines you already have, just a natural line. See, sometimes my hand does get shaky. It's definitely not perfect, but <laughs> when you're freehanding, it's that's half the fun, right? The little bit of imperfections. And that. So here, um, I'm not totally happy with the top of that one. So it is still easy to work with. So I just kind of shift it around and very gently use the dotting tool to move it. So it's a bit more of a true diamond shape. And then I will cure that. And because I'm curing so close to where these ones are, often I do just go like this. I just like to protect the colors that I've mixed so that they don't harden here either, but I believe the silicone mat does help that a bit. Um, and it would take time for this amount because they're so thick on here to cure.
And if you do use the 45 second lamp, it goes a little bit quicker. And so, this fourth car, again, we'll start the line kind of tracing over the last portion of those diamonds. And then going up. So even if it's not a complete uh, diamond shape on the side, still just kind of created, it can feed off, fade off, whatever word you want to use. So if you want like a good point on them, um, I did find this is a good little tool. You just carefully bring up a piece, um, piece, a bit of the polish. And here, perfect. So we are almost done this last color. might do that one a bit higher actually good um, and so then um, in between I'm just cleaning it off on the cleanser pad so I will the top will be done with Amalia and I did find again to complete with the dotting tool I found that easiest so I just put some Amalia solid on the mixing mat so that it was easier to use that way instead of trying to use the brush. Yeah, you could even try to do like a rainbow to the side so you could do one color. Yeah, alternate a bunch of different colors. It would be fun to add lots of different pizzazz to this sort of manicure or pedicure if you did it on your toes. And there we go. This one is obviously a little bit easier because you're just tracing over the line of the top one and then you get to just fill in the rest of the nail with Amalia. So if your nails are as long as these beautiful nail sticks are, then you could obviously do a few more colors, <laughs> a few more shades or colors and go from there. Um, because mine were, it was fairly close, I guess the dotting tool was easier. In this case, you could definitely use the brush to finish up the end here. I would just still fill in these little bits with the tool because you don't want the brush to end up messing up the work that you've done. So we are almost done here. It's a little bit mermaid-esque with the 
Amalia. I like that. Yeah, if your nails are this long, I would probably, let's see. <laughs> We're gonna finish it up with the brush here. I feel like that would be easiest. Try to get that last bit filled in. Cap off the nail. Just don't want it too thick. And then we cure for the final result. Um, and if you have one of these silicone pads, I it's nice to use the cleansing pad even just to clean up your polishes at the end. It wipes them up very nicely. Obviously, more than one pad would be <laughs> prime. But I just have one here. And so basically that's how you do it. I just found these, yeah, I just used a couple little tools and I found that it worked awesome. And again, you're only using a couple colors and which is also really nice that you can do so much with just two colors. And then, so that has cured at the end. And so you can see the final look. I found that there's always a little bit of, um, a little bit of bumps then because they're all different heights and yeah, depending on how thick some layers were and thin, etc. So I top it with a coat of Clearly Frisky just to seal it up, make it smooth and look awesome. And then we cure that and there we go. That is how I do the Diamond Fade Manicure. We will just wait for this to cure and then we can look at our fun final product. So, almost done. And so there we go. That is how I completed that look. Um, again, if you want that top coat, if you want like the final color of Amalia, it's a bit more of a sheer color. So you could do a second coat and finish that up and there we go. Thank you so much for following along and I hope that that helps.